reacting to my first ever professional wrestling match. So I had my match on August 26th. One week before that, I literally broke my nose. The day after August 26th, so August 27th, I was gonna go to Puerto Rico to like go back home and get ready for the college semester to start. Um, so obviously this was like extremely rushed, which is why I really wasn't ready when it comes to gear. My physique looks absolutely terrible. Like I was just, I was looking very flat, but thankfully I was able to make it work and I had the amazing and just surreal experience to have my first ever professional wrestling match in front of a live crowd. So enjoy the reaction, enjoy the match. All right, so a couple of things. The uh, promotion that I actually had the match with is called Chaotic Wrestling. And essentially what that is, is pretty much the promotion of the school where I train at. And another thing, basically, as somebody that's new, I uh, wasn't really expecting to have a singles match. I thought it was just gonna be something where like, I pretty much just get my ass kicked for like two minutes and then I'm out of the ring. But uh, obviously that was not the case. I obviously ended up having a singles match with this monster of a man. He's actually 22 years old, which is crazy. Um, and yeah, again, just looks insane. Just looks like an athlete. And yeah, uh, very quickly, uh, what you're about to see, I'm gonna have to mute because basically as part of like, a, I guess like a rib, you call it in the world of professional wrestling, which is pretty much a prank. Um, the coach actually made me come out to the song, Who Let the Dogs Out? I didn't know it was gonna happen up until the music hit and I just looked at the coach, he looked at me, we were just both laughing. So the music starts playing now and out comes Pedro Zamora. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, again, this is like a, you know, it was a tryout match and uh, there was actually two people named Jose on the show already, so you know, couldn't use that name. And yeah, look at me, just, you know, high-fiving the crowd. I'm trying to look like a good guy. You know, I want the crowd to cheer for me. Came out with the Puerto Rican flag, of course. You gotta rep it. Um, and yeah, uh, uh, I hate that, I hate that. I, I didn't know what to do. I thought it looked cool. I was like practicing it in the bathroom and I, again just thought it looked cool but obviously i was very mistaken yeah so i mean start of the match at this point i'm not really feeling anything my mind is just focused on not messing up he pushes me it's time to go we lock up and again big dude so he pushes me again with ease yeah um Again, not feeling anything. At this point, I'm just trying not to mess up. Uh, feeling very nervous, just a very out of body experience. Hit him with a nice shot, headlock. He just carries me and throws me like a literal baby. He's coming at me, I dodge that. One shot, one chest slap, and another chest slap. He just picks me back like it's nothing and gives me a chest slap himself. And then he gave me a nice shot. He gave me a nice shot. In the corner, a little dazed. Hit him with a kick. Trying to get the crowd hyped up. And he just catches me like it's nothing. And just throws me around like a baby. And from there, I just know I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Quick little cover right there. Yeah, at the, at, oh my God, it, it just felt so, I just keep saying the same thing, but it just felt like an out of body experience. <laughs> and he, just, he just threw me like it was nothing. Yeah, so, um, I, I, funny enough, I, I remember hearing like the little kids just telling me to get back up. There was actually a few people in the crowd that speak Spanish, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm just a little dazed, I'm not gonna lie. That landing was not the best landing. And I get back in and he just cuts me down.
And look at that. He just showcases his power. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I, I don't want to, you know, expose the business. But what I did there was horrible. I should not have done this. Pretty much when you're going to take a suplex, you have to be completely straight. Like your legs have to be together and straight. I didn't do that because, I mean, there, there's no excuse for it. But, you know, first match, I'm feeling the nerves. I, I, I'm not really thinking. Like, I'm just, like, going. It's a weird phenomenon. But, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, not supposed to do that. And he just pins me like it's nothing, you know, showcasing his power. Chirping in the crowd a little bit chirping with the crowd and again yeah so just going in the ring kicks me again god I hate looking back at this oh my he just hits me with a shot and just knocks me down and then he hits me with a boot and yeah it just it just hurt I, I hate this looking back at this I just I don't know Ah, I hate this. Oh. Hit him with a schoolboy. Try to get the win. Ah. Um, there's a lot of things I can improve on, for sure. Uh, one of the main things is I'm not giving the crowd... Obviously, he's kicking my ass, but I'm not really giving the crowd any reason to, like, cheer for me. Which is bothering me right now. But... I'm fighting back. <sighs> yeah, again, not giving the crowd a lot of reason to cheer for me. But, you know, I'm fighting back. Hit him with another knee, or I should say another kick. And again, I try the same thing, and it kind of works, but he just rolls me. Carries me. And hits me with it. Attitude adjustment. And I'm undefeated. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Again, just an out-of-body experience. Uh, yeah, but I know what's coming. He is about to kick my ass. Obviously, he's very pissed off at the fact that I won. Lock eyes with him, and then, yeah, from there, he's just kicking my ass. Yeah, just kicking my ass, about to hit me. What a power bomb. And look who comes out to the rescue. None other than Flip Gordon. Pretty cool moment, obviously Flip Gordon is a legend in the world of professional wrestling. You know, for him to come out and just help me out was pretty cool. I, I, I definitely don't take that for granted. Um, yeah. <laughs> At this point, I'm just on the floor. Um, I'm just glad the match was over. Obviously, I'm in pain because I got my ass kicked. But at this point, I'm just glad the match was over and I didn't, I guess, really mess up. Cool moment, cool moment. I'm just, I'm just like disappointed in myself. I guess I, I, I don't know if it's me being really hard on myself, but I don't know. I guess the main thing that I could have improved though is just slowing down. There's a saying in my school that is slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Um, and yeah, after having my first wrestling match, I get that. I understand why that is so important because not once did I ever just stop and like took a breath and yeah, um, I don't know. This was my first match. Uh, obviously a huge step in the journey of Jose Zamora. First match, six months into my training, I would say is not too bad. Um, you know, I know people that have been training for years and they still haven't had their match. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just everybody truly goes at their own pace. 
I'm genuinely very curious as to what all of you are going to think about that. What I will make sure, however, is for my next match, I, I will look better. I wasn't ready in regards to the gear. That's why I cut my hair. I genuinely didn't really like the long hair. I thought it looked kind of messy. So with that being said, thank you for watching. And hopefully you can join me on this journey to show the whole world that no light can outshine a superstar. I promise I will get better. Um, this is what I want to do, but it's a process. Uh, and I will get better. I promise I will get better. And yeah, time to go to work. Time to keep improving.